Alright there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to part 6 of Guan Yu's Dynasty Warriors 3 campaign, and it sure has been a little while, hasn't it? So let's see where we're up to. Ah, oh, the Battle of Yi Wing, that's where we are. There we go. Lord, please wait! Now is not the time to attack Wu! We must join with them to attack Cao Cao! Never! I will destroy Wu. Who cares about Cao Cao? I shall never forgive them. Never. <laughs> forgive them for what? I will never forgive their incompetence. I guess. Okay, so Wu Bei is apparently pissed off and will not listen to Xiao Yun or Zuge Liang who's just kind of hanging in the background there. Let's see why Wu Bei's kind of pissed off there. Eh? Surrounding Fan Castle, Guan Yu uses the heavy rains and floodwaters to his advantage, successfully taking the castle. This victory brings a much needed rest from the threat in the north. Sounds good. Shu has little time to celebrate their victory as Wu attacks, and catching Guan Yu off guard, retakes the Jing province. Determined to seek revenge for Guan Yu and strike Wu, Lu Bei prepares for battle. How was I taken off guard? Wait, does that mean Wu carried out a plan successfully against the mighty Guan Yu? No wonder he's mad. Leading his forces east, Lu Bei forms a long formation just outside of Yi Lane. Then, in the year 222, Lu Zun, who had been quietly watching the situation, makes his move. Will Lu Bei emerge victorious, realizing his long-held ambition? Long-held ambition to what? Be angry at Wu just because they defeat me once in battle? Yeah, it's actually a little bit confusing why Guan Yu is here in the first place. Um, as far as I can tell, technically... Wu are supposed to kill Guan Yu at this point. To my recollection at least, Guan Yu is killed by Wu at this stage in the uh, actual original story, but since we're playing as Guan Yu, it's implied that all we did was lose a battle to them as opposed to be captured, executed. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Anyway, unit info. So Wu Bei is actually pretty close to the enemy captain here. This could be very quick. And you can see we're one of his sub-officers, and if you remember from last time when we played as Hung Gai and did this mission on the opposite side, Guan Yu was not in sight. Needless to say, the Muzu mode of Dynasty Warriors 3 takes a couple of liberties here and there. Basically, characters that shouldn't normally be in these types of missions are sometimes thrown into them. Into the missions. It's kind of... Well, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This seems a bit awkward. Anyway, it's got one of his sub officers. That's all I can say. And there's Ma Chao. And there's Xiao Yun. And Huang Zong with Yan Yan. And where's Wei Yan near us? Let's hope he stays on his feet this time. Since we're on the same team. And Hung Wan with Shamok. That's an odd name. And for Wu, we have Sun Quan. Over there next to looks like a couple of boats actually. And we have Gan Ning. Hmm. He if this could be tricky. If he's powered up, that is, but we'll have to see. And there's Wu Zun, he could also be a bit of a problem. We haven't fought him yet, so it will be fun. There's Shun Shang Jiang over there. And there's Wu Meng. And Sheng Pu over there. Alright, so the conditions for the battle. Wu Bei must be protected, and Sun Quan must be defeated. And this is the first map where we will be playing the opposite side to a map. So it could be pretty interesting. You'll see a couple of things happen, and it also we also have a bit of information. We know how we are going to attack. We're going to use a fire attack to give us a chance to counter it very quickly. So, as usual, the weapons the Blue Dragon. Item-wise, we're going to swap the Bodyguard Manual for Red Hair again, because we need some speed on this. Sticking with Bow Armor, Walk, Defense, and Attack. Bodyguard-wise, we'll stick with Spears on the offensive, and let's rock! Uh, if I remember also this mission, it's a little awkward near the end, but we'll see. And this time we get... I think it's different music for the uh, Shoe Forces. 
So, our first priority. Let's get rid of Wu Meng immediately, shall we? Since he's the closest target. Let's start taking some names while we wait for Wu Zoom to do something. Oh, I'll dare, alright. I will dare indeed. I am Gwen. Oh shit. Whoa, crap. Straight into his Muzu attack. Damn. Wasn't quite expecting that. Normally, take a while to do that shit. Guess Wu Meng has a hard on for. Wind me out the picture quickly. Whoa. High health? Another thing I wasn't expecting. Wow. I wasn't expecting him to have this much health on them. At least not Wu Meng. Oh, that's not a, that's not a good sign. It's going to take a while to chip him down. I don't remember this mission so well on the shoe side, <laughs> to say the least. But I didn't think they'd be this powered up. Maybe it's com maybe it's adjusting for the fact I have the fourth weapon. Oh man, he's ah shit, he's in like a top brick house. Now, oh, do we catch him in the back? Oh, that was lucky. Oh man, this is. I did not think I'd be struggling this early on. Damn, Wu Meng's being a dick. We'll take care of that, Mr. Wu Meng. Get this attack power. We'll have to be careful for a few seconds. You circle to charge up our Muzu a bit quicker. Wow, I was not expecting this to be. I was expecting Gan Ning to have this much health, but not Wu Meng. Well, we'll deal with that with our double attack. And oh, he's almost dead now. Where is he? Oh, better be careful. Oh. My bodyguard, get him! My lord, I must leave you now. Long live Wu. Surprisingly tough. I think my bodyguard finished him off. His bodyguards are starting to prove their worth a little bit. Not before due course. There's a the advantage of having better bodyguards. They'll actually do things for you. I guess all the Wu officers are going to be this tough then. All right then, where shall we head? Next. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna head over towards the west and deal with the people over there, I think. I'm gonna leave Gan Ning for a little bit. Hopefully, if things go bad to worse, Wu Bei will retreat, hopefully, to the southwest anyway. But I'm gonna take care of the people in the west first, so we'll just go through here for a minute. So as I was, so yeah, as I said at the beginning, um, it's been a while. It's been a week actually since I've uploaded a recording, and I, I, I hope you've not. Oh. Transformation. Master Juge Leon must be there. However, there can be no mercy. Send a message to Zuron's unit. We will burn the Shu army as planned. Ah, one disadvantage though. Okay. One disadvantage though, I know what you're doing. And just wait when I was playing as some guy, you will fail. Come here, what are you doing? Hey, don't run from me. You're gonna die now. No you don't. We have to defeat this guy or else the fire attack will be a success. I thought he was gonna run away then and focus just on the objective, but nope. Get out of here. Takes care of your little fire attack, Luzun. <laughs> that was quick and painless. No wonder we walk, we didn't get to do it when we're on Wu's side. He's easy to defeat. And there we go. We've prevented the fire attack. Which is good. Now we shall go help our allies on the left-hand side. So I told you Wu were nothing to fear. Ooh, Shen Zhang Jiang. I think it's the first time we're going to fight against her. I think. Memory serves. Oh, come on. Ah, damn it. My bow is for more than just looks. Kind of a tomboyish voice there, as we, as I said last time. Shun Shang Zhang is kind of a tomboy. Very tough. Takes no messing. Oh, another one. Wait, that was not even her. Ah, take my Muzu attack. Man, she's hitting pretty hard, but she's not as strong as Wu Meng was. Better be careful, though. Just on, on the safe side. Oh, no. Bodyguard, stop doing that. Pest. Oh, better be careful of a true Muzu now. I'm gonna risk it though. 
Come on. No, no, no. Jump. Mizu! Oh, that was a good, good thing I dodged that. That wasn't a true Mizu, though, was it? Come on. Finish her off. There we go. Run away, God, or whatever. Well, unfortunately, you must die, so deal with it. So I could say. Tom's pulling back. I think that was my bodyguard again. Are my bodyguard using Muzu attacks now? I guess they are. Oh well. What do you, I guess. Oh, <laughs> really awkward camera angle for this true Muzu. But I still managed to get the gate captain down. Yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna use my fifth here. Separate them out a little bit. So, I don't know if we have anything else up there, Sleeves, but... Oh, how come he's still only taking... Oh, he's also beefed up. Very strange. I am using... Oh, no. Come on. No. Damn it. Damn that Sheng Poo. Coming for you next, buddy. Oh, my true Muzu attack is missed. That's what I thought we were doing so well. And now we've got this. Oh, man. So some, oh, someone has to screw up in this mission. Now that's the gate captain out the way. I don't know what Jing... Uh, Jing Tong, what are you doing? Oh, wink. What are you doing? <laughs> supposed to be running away. What are you doing? <laughs> Get off. Eight dogs, man. <laughs> Wing Tong's kind of like... I don't want to... Uh oh. A raiding party. Ah. Oh. So, it looks like they do have a plan B. A raiding party. I think we better go check that out. I mean, Shang Pu's forces are kind of heading over towards Wu Bay right now, but I want to see if this raiding party's got some kind of... Maybe they're going to try and execute the fire plan themselves or something. I'll just check if they've got an officer with them. Now, why is that heading... Oh, God. Not good. Why is that heading towards the stone maze, though? I'm very suspicious about that. Is it really just a bunch of generic people, or is there an officer there? Is this the end? It's just a bunch of generic people? Oh, okay. They can run into that, then. Oh, my God. God. And of course, Gun Ning kills Wu Machao. Jesus. Alright, we'll just leave these guys. I thought these guys would be a sub officer threat, but if they're just a bunch of randoms, then they're not really going to threaten me. Oh, come on. This could get really dickish now. We could basically be defending Wu Bei. Hmm. I'd like to retreat, by the way, from an advancing army. It's going to be one half of the map versus the other. Let's get Sheng Pu out of the picture if we can. That'd be nice. It feels kind of weird playing this after I... I think I've played this for about two weeks. So anyway, I was explaining why I haven't uploaded in a while. Uh, basically, I've had a very busy week on the job front. I've had three days of training from Tuesday to Thursday in Manchester. Which has been pretty tiring, to be honest. So I've been hard at work with that. And I've also just been busy with other stuff, like I went to the dentist on Monday, so I couldn't speak for a couple of hours. I see some archers, want to get the faces in the dirt. And I will deal with them now, I think. As we all know, I haven't forgotten that, archers are just as pain as officers, if not more of a pain than officers. I'll use my fifth to scatter this archer. Get up. Get up. Ah, I'm quick on the draw too, and that's your archer's move. Now, let's deal with Sheng Pu, shall we? You took out one of my friends, I'm going to take you out. Thankfully, he's also quite easy to deal with. This will probably be the last time we'll have such convenience, however. Oh, actually breaking his block with the fifth. Get out of here, Sheng Pu. Muppet. Alright, that should give us a bit of morale back since we I think now we're down to four versus three let me check yeah four versus three but I'll tell you one thing Gan Ning 
is not an easy foe. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sneak around Gunning and eliminate his gate captain. Then that way he's kind of cut off from backup or whatever. We might be able to ignore it, but I'm not taking any chances. So as I was saying, I've just been kind of busy really and a bit tired. I mean, I've also been out this morning to attend another job interview. And on the weekend, I was mostly just busy. I, I, I don't, I haven't really streamed on weekend. Oh, uh, hold on a second. They call me Ganin of the Bells. Let's play. Unfortunately, I remember the last time we fought you at uh, Heifei. I don't want to repeat of that. Especially since I know how powerful your Muzu is. Hmm, I have to approach him very carefully. His Muzu is very powerful. I will not be taking Ganin. No. I know what I'm doing. Okay, I am going to take out this gate captain, then take out Gan Ning extremely carefully. Well, I might judge if he's super powered or not. Because Gan Ning is one of those that sometimes becomes ridiculously powerful. Like, he'll have like a Wu Bu type sort of situation. And it happens sometimes, they'll just get a lot of strength. I think Wei Yong can sometimes be super powerful on this mission. Occasionally, but I don't think he was. He wasn't last time, but. Or maybe I'm wrong, perhaps he never is, but anyway. Another raiding party! What is going on with that? Okay, well, whatever. Not, I don't know what the purpose of those raiding parties is anyway. Because Wu Bei's not retreated. I assume it's Wu just trying to pull off a flanking motion, but it's not working. Damn, I don't even know how they get in there. The stone maze is completely sealed off, and there's no other way they should be there, really, but... Oh well. What can you do? What can you do? So now we're kind of pushing into Sun Quan's base, so we'll let them do that for a bit. Maybe they'll take out a sub-officer or something. And... Hmm, we have any problems over? No, there's only two gates left and they're both with Sun Quan. So I'm gonna go remove this guy so he doesn't take out his gate captain. Just slowly take care of Gan Ning's forces, because if he's gonna be as powerful as I think he is, we will want to treat him a lot like a Wu Bu situation. We're basically... leave him with... What the hell happened there? Why are... Hey! What the fuck? For some reason my controls didn't respond. I was trying to use my Muzu to break that. Uh, where's he going? Uh, excuse me! Hey! Hey! John Quinn! What are you doing? What the hell are you doing? Yeah, thank you. Fight me! Oh, I thought he was going to attack. Why I broke from Muzu... No, no, no! Don't want to fight Gan Ning and his sub-officer just yet. So yeah, I want to treat him like a woo boo situation, so I want to be really careful, so I'm going to take my time. Of course I might be overreacting, but better safe than sorry, yeah? I'm definitely not approaching Gunning with anything less than half health, if I can help it. So I'm just going to get this health here. Oh, of course he hits me straight away. Get the fuck off me. Damn god, Captain. And you... No, you don't. Die. Thank you. Right. Attack plus two. That might work out nicely. Okay, apparently all the... That is enough! Thank you very much. Oh, nobody. And the gate captain recovered health. You're done. Now goodbye. Yes, I'm better than rumors. Thank you, Wayan. Right. Finally. Piss off. Good. Leave my gate captain alone. Stupid Gunning's men. This gate captain shall stay. Thanks. Now do one. Okay. Okay. For the fifth time or sixth or whatever. Now let's defeat Gunning. 